Hey everyone, welcome to a new vlog. If you are here from YouTube, be sure to subscribe. And if you're here from Instagram, be sure to follow. So, right here, I'm just in the shower preparing for my day. I was really pumped up and filling myself with this outfit. I actually got this dress from a local thrift store and I fell in love with it. It fit really nice on me. And I just really like the whole bohemian vibe with this and it, it almost gave like a 70s inspired look. So I paired it with a cute little gold bell and some pink accessories. I got these beautiful chandelier earrings from one of my gorgeous friends from Paris. Love her so much. Thank you girl. And I paired it with this really cute pink bracelet as well. So yeah, I really love this outfit. So we got in the car, we headed off to Malibu because we're only like 20 minutes away, believe it or not. Okay, so our original plan was to go to this really famous and known restaurant called Neptune's Net, but it was super packed and honestly, we passed right by it. So we just wandered off, we kept driving up and we stopped in Topanga Canyon. We stopped at this really cute nursery, by the way. Oh my god, it honestly, it was honestly probably the highlight of the city, to be honest. <laughs> and you know us, we're pretty obsessed with plants, with trees, anything greenery, really. So we headed back to the balcony patio section. We were a little disappointed because it was extremely small and it wasn't what we were imagining in our heads, but inside it was super gorgeous. They had everything from like indoor plants, outdoor plants, um, succulents, just really gorgeous. It was just really gorgeous in there. It almost had like a really cute vintage feel too. Really spiritual. They had a lot of cute Buddha pieces, really, really cute enlightenment type of like artwork. And yeah, I just, I really loved it. Okay, so we had to make our way out of the plant store because toddlers don't really have the best patience. They don't. They don't have patience, but it's okay. I was oh, totally okay with just being outdoors and being outside. It was nice to just kind of get out and explore and just be out of our element, really. I love going into a new city and not knowing what we're going to discover, basically. But yeah, it was really nice, especially since we've been indoors a lot because, you know, we've all been in this crazy fiasco situation, so it was really nice to get out. But yeah, we came across this really cute candle store, which is right across from the plant store. Everything was super expensive, but they had these really cute vintage tins and oh my gosh, I wanted them all, really adorable. I feel like the city is just really cute, um, but it was kind of like a ghost town too. So if you guys ever go to Topang Topanga Canyon, um, let me know how you guys feel about it. It's like very hippie, very like, retro in a way but um i don't know it really ties in with like a spiritual community there too i don't know it was kind of weird but i was not hating it so we made it to august 3rd 2020 i just feel like where did the time go we're we're like already almost in fall i know atlas i know i can't believe it i'm really excited for halloween too okay so it's monday and I just wanted to say that I've been doing all the things today. I finally feel like I'm back on schedule, like I'm feeling busier than ever and excited about just like my content, like things that I want to do in life and just feel really inspired. I think that's really important. See, so yeah, I've been feeling really inspired, really motivated. And okay, I've been seeing this all over Instagram, all over Facebook and supposedly today is the full moon in Aquarius. And so what does that mean? I kind of wrote some things down, but supposedly, you know, we're supposed to feel really creative. We're supposed to be in like a creative state of mind, which is really exciting. Also, I, okay, I wrote some things down. Also, this is said to be vulnerable yet strong. Will be an emotional ride, but sacrifice is in order. So to trust in the universe, basically kind of like a tough love type of ordeal. So far, I feel great. I've never felt so determined in my life and every day I am more and more thankful. I can honestly say this, like I feel more inspired, more creative than I've ever felt probably in my life. I feel 
inspired to just get things done and just do things that make me happy whether it's just speaking out randomly like this or working on my spirituality or working with fashion and just creating fun content you know being funny really throwing in some comedy in there like that is me which is another reason why i love tiktok people think oh my god tiktok is like such a silly app which it kind of is but i love it because i feel like i can really bring out my other like gemini twin out there and like really have fun because i really like to see like the humor in life i love to laugh i love to feel like just in free spirit you know like that's what i like that's who i am like i can't be serious all the time i just can't so tiktok is definitely like a fun outlet for me Okay, so I wrote down a cute little passage that I wanted to share with you guys. This is for the full moon in Aquarius. So let's get in our feelings right now. Okay, so here we go. Dear moon, thank you for all you do. Thank you for the light you bring amongst the night sky. Thank you for your guidance, your beauty, and your magical powers. I looked at you when I was a child and I'll continue to look at you throughout the trying stages of my life and wisdom. See this? This is my son trying to figure out the PS4 so he can put his shows on. Um, thank you, Atlas, for that background music. Oh my gosh, you're really good at this. Okay, so just to shut out some nice light out there. Thank you guys for just being you. Thank you for being true. Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, but honestly, I just feel like it's so important right now to just be on this self-discovery um, pathway because it's so important to our mental health and just being truly who we are like no one likes to feel trapped you know i don't like to feel trapped and it's hard when society tells you that you need to be a certain way it's hard when you're involved in certain relationships and you have to be told to do certain things or um just not being able to be yourself and feel like yourself, you know? Um, when it comes to like your creative um, arts, just things that you're really passionate about. Like if someone's telling you to say, like stop that or not motivating you or just, um, just really stopping your, your true path, then it's just, it's really hard to move forward. So eliminate those people um, and really focus on what makes you happy because I can't tell you enough, like I, I'm the happiest that I've honestly ever been in a very long time. Of course, I have my ups and downs, of course. But I wanna say overall, like um, I'm in one of the happiest states of my life because I really feel like I'm, I'm serving me and I feel like you should serve yourself and just be a good person. That's it. Be a good person. Okay, so as so, <laughs> okay, can't even speak. So first, some exciting news. I'm almost done with my yoga teacher training. Um, it's been taking a while, just because you know I'm a mom. I always say this, you guys, but I try to do as much as I can. But it's been such, such an amazing journey. I couldn't be more thankful to have this opportunity. Honestly. I've always loved yoga and now I feel like even deeper in my practice because I'm doing it for me, you know what I mean? Like it's for me, it's not just for exercise, it's for my well-being, my mental state and it's a lifestyle. So I feel like as soon as I'm done with this, um, I guess this the schooling and like all my training hours, I feel like I can re I'm going to really like just be diving in deep and really working on my practice even more. Um, along with other things, like I've been really getting into Ayurveda studies and I'm so passionate about it. Like I really want to learn more. So I'm thinking of taking more classes for that. So stay tuned for that. Um, 
and I just got done with a podcast episode today actually about yoga um, and just basically talking about not giving up because a lot of us give up when it comes to yoga you know like I know I have and just there's just so many stereotypes on like how yoga should be and like how you should be perfect in it and like that's not the case so stay tuned for that episode and I'm, I'm so excited too for the podcast because I'm going to actually be having a lot of people kind of um, join in on the episode and like speaking their truth and experiences, maybe sharing like an inspirational story or a motivational quote just to like get you inspired. So I actually have my first person um, coming on the podcast soon and she's going to share like a story or an inspirational quote and I can't wait so stay tuned for that but yeah I'm feeling good um I think I'm gonna work on some TikToks right now and just just to push on through today motivational Monday baby so um, I'm gonna let you guys go thank you guys for joining this vlog I hope you guys liked the beginning of this vlog um and our LA adventures so yeah see you guys later bye